I have made some videos for SIM 800 LGPRS module, and how to connect the module with Arduino. In those video series, I explained how to work with the T commands, as well as sending SMS and the way of wiring. However, most of friends had a common problem about supplying voltage. The reason is, I have told you that it is possible to give directly power from Arduino 5 volts through one N4001 diode to the module. As a reply to the confusions, I will do the same with more explanations. Stay with set and fix. First connect your Arduino board to the PC. Now, connect one N4001 diode to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. If you are aware about the voltage requirement of SIM 800L module, you know that the board is required 3.4 volt to 4.4 volt. But the Arduino board gives us 5 volt power. Therefore, we need to reduce the voltage. We can use one N4001 diode for this purpose. I am using a multimeter to check the voltage after the one N4001 diode. You can see that, the diode can reduce the voltage up to 4.7 volt. There is no danger for using 4.7 volt to the SIM 800L module. This is about SIM 800L module. But some modules are available in online shops, but they are not working properly. I had the same bad experience. If you see this module, it is SIM 800C module, but the module is ruined already. Not because of... Uh, okay, I think you have already know about wiring. However, I will do the same again for you. First I connect red wire to VCEC pin. Black wire to ground pin, blue wire to TXT pin and green wire to RXT pin. Now, shall we connect the module with Arduino? Red wire to Arduino 5 volt pin through the diode. Black wire to Arduino ground. Blue wire to Arduino pin 10. And, green wire to Arduino pin 11. The wiring part is done. As I did in my videos, you can download the code from my website. Then upload the code. Once the uploading is completed, you can run serial monitor for commanding. In the serial monitor, type at word and press enter. If the monitor is displayed OK, the module is ready. I am not going to show all the codes, but I will show you dialing a phone call to the module. You can see, as in my previous videos, the module is responding to the call. I hope this video will rid off your confusions regarding the power supply to the SIM 800L module. If you have any doubt, put it in the comments below. Stay with Set and Fix.